enjoying yourself, I went out and I bought us a veritable feast of snacks and food and good times and where are you? Maybe somewhere else. I get to see you for the first time in two years and you're off gallivanting about at some retinal link concert and I'm completely not jealous about you seeing me not, so yeah. You're doing something right and I commend you for it. You've done so much for so many people with your work through the FCLA, the NFI, and the run to Nerfiteria and to Atari. I mean, no fight here in general and just everything you put your mind to I'm sure your brother and your family will say the same thing and if your friends will say the same thing now I'm going to say this while you're not here as soon as you walk through that door I'm likely to hit you with this hammer that squeaks for anybody who didn't know let's talk about the Johnny Bravo approach to YouTube Sassy. He and I were talking about something, and then he just stopped the conversation and said, I'm getting a real feeling of deja vu here, even though I know we have never talked about this before. I think one of the standout moments for me was when we met up near the end of the final day to drop into a small creator's networking session. The gathering itself was okay, but what I realised was that most of the people there were very inexperienced, and they were looking for answers you just can't find as easily as they wanted. When the people at our table found out about the weight of the experience behind you and I, it became a bit of all the focus was on us for a while. Why do I go back to this novel series twice a year and reread it? You know exactly what's going to happen in the story. You know who's going to die at what point and what's going to happen. What wars are going to kick off. This is just an example of Warhammer, by the way. Not every other novel ever because the Fallen North Stars didn't have a lot of space battles in. People say, do your best and that will be enough, even if you don't succeed. And I'm not sure I agree with that. And here's why. Now, depending on what you're talking about, doing your best is not necessarily a bad thing. Obviously, it's usually seen as a good thing because you're putting the most effort in you could possibly give to something. Do you like to combine the work and the play elements to create something that is rather rewarding to you overall? It depends what your definition of work is. This is the third time I've had to record this video today because I recorded it twice, once before I left for work and once while at work. Both times I corrupted on my phone because I think the memory card is a bit blurred. There's a certain level of selfishness such a bad thing. The word selfishness has a very negative connotation when you look at it no matter what you are looking at it tends to be perceived as a bad thing. What often gets overlooked I think about selfishness is that you do something for selfish reasons but what can come off that for other people is often much greater than the negativity associated with that selfish act. Hey Matt, welcome to the outside utility space that I'm currently occupying while I am filming this in bits and pieces. Here is a relevant question for you Matt, I promise stick with me. What makes a good video game? These things are absolutely useless and here's why. There exists a stereotype about British people in that every single British person happens to own at least two different umbrellas because we are always pictured with them in the media. So I'm what you might charitably call an adult. So I'm one day removed from filming at the YouTube space in London. I was invited to the YouTube space to record an episode of the podcast Barshins alongside Stuart Ashen, known as Ashens, and Mr. Barry Lewis, sometimes known as My Virgin Kitchen, two very prominent, well thought of, well respected YouTubers. This is basically an example of one decision made or not made leads to a far-reaching consequence you cannot fathom. <sighs> hey Matt, it's Thursday. I did a thing today. Go to Donnerstag here, Matthew. Ich heiße David und ich spreche sie Deutsch. For one sentence, badly. I don't know if you've realised this, but I tend to be quite a glass half empty kind of person. And negativity, I think, is not always a bad thing. I'm quite positive that negativity is not always a bad thing. 